So apparently, one does not simply bestow it the name of unhinged x-ray school professor without first earning the title of unhinged, and you can't earn that title without mental illness. I've been depressed. Let's continue our series. Today, we're gonna talk about rectification. Rectification is basically making sure your electrons don't drive the wrong way down a one-way street. I've never done that. The one-way street that we're talking about, that's the x-ray tube. And if your electrons are driving the wrong way down that one way, the rectification system is going to pull out a taser and scream, NOT TODAY! Bitch. Here's the tea. The wall in which your x-ray generator is plugged into gives us alternating current. So it goes back and forth from positive to negative, like my toddler on a daily basis. But the x-ray tube can only handle direct current. Write that down. One direction straight to the anode. So how are we going to get that alternating current to be direct current, not going back and forth? Rectification. It's the system that slaps messy alternating current and forces it into clean, one-way direct current flow. Traffic cops for electrons, if you will. The ARRT wants you to know these two types of rectification. Half-wave rectification, it blocks half of the alternating current cycle. It's like showing up to work half the week, lazy and inefficient. Full wave rectification is going to flip the negative half, so you use the entire cycle. Efficient, clean, chef's kiss. And what does that mean for you? Half wave, image exposure sucks, takes forever. Full wave, faster exposure, better output, less time for patients to wiggle and ruin your image. How does it work? There's this little thing inside of the x-ray uh, circuit that is like a one-way valve for electricity. In radiography, they're called solid state diodes. So if you look at your x-ray circuit, it's gonna be that little diamond shaped thing with the four points, that's the diode. And that is the rectifier. That is the thing that makes the energy go one way to the x-ray tube, like little crystal semiconductors. Anywho, that's the that on that. We're gonna continue this series and I'll try to be less depressed. Okay, bye.